It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. What I have here is something quite special. I think it's by Abbey Brewery Grimbergen. Abbey Brewery, Micro Brasserie, Micro Brewery Grimbergen. They're owned by Heineken, but Heineken have just invested a massive amount of money in a brand new state of the art brewery for Grimbergen. Um, in an abbey, I believe it's a church. So they sent me this lovely box of um, beer that I'm going to show you and we're going to open it up. There's a magnet on the side of the box. Here it is. Look at this. So we've got a nice Belgian glass, the Grimbergen gold label there and three brand new beers. Magnum Opus Brut Beer. Ignis Quadruple and Astrum Pale Ale. So I'm going to put these on the bar. Climb under and get into them. Right, here we are. So the first beer, I'm going to go... It's beer one, beer two, beer three. Now usually I go ABV, but number number two is a ten percent beer, number one is an eight percent beer, and number three I think is a six percent beer. So we'll just get them out. This is the Ignis Quadruple, uh, ten percent ABV. That's a big one. Root beer, eight percent. And the Astrum Pale Ale is six percent, but it's beer number three. Now I think what they're thinking of here is because it's hoppy, they want you to leave it till last. Because if you drink this first, you might ruin your, your palate for the other the other two beers. That's the only thinking why I think it's called beer number three. So we're gonna start off with beer. Number one, which is a brute beer at eight percent ABV. So, look at that for a lovely chalice glass there. Beautiful gold rim, traditional Belgian glass. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use that on the quad. I think on the ten percent beer. Is this? Just wondering if this is a bottle opener. Whether it can open a bottle. Do you know what? I think it can. I think it can, you know. No. Maybe not. Let's grab one of these. Right, beer number one then. Let's get it open. I have taken the beers out. Put them... Put them in the fridge and then I package them back up in the box just to show you. But they've been out the fridge now a good 20 minutes so they're not going to be too cold that I won't be able to enjoy the flavour on the beer. So here is beer number one. Classic Belgium three four finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. Slight haze in there. Straw ish coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. I think there's a wasp in here. I don't like wasps very much. Spicy, peppery, slightly lemony. Touch of lime. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. That's nice. Really nice. as you would expect from a, a Belgian beer. Nicely carbonated. 
good hiss and a fizz on the palate. It's got a really nice lemony kind of flavour going on, touch of lime, peppery, spicy. It's really nice, really, really nice beer. Got a touch of that kind of Belgian candied sugar sweetness going on to balance off that slight bitterness on the back end. It's rather nice. Mmm. Extremely drinkable for an 8% ABV beer. Let's get that Belgian yeast in then. If indeed there is any. Yeah, it's slight. Slight haze now, and I've got the rest of the beer in the glass. Ah, <laughs> that fly has just uh, made its way into a, um, a spider's web. And now it's out again. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna I'm gonna rate this one and move on, or I can I can actually move on and make my way back to these beers. But it is one thing before I do move on. It is slightly kind of slightly more grainy, if you like, slightly more kind of chalky with that yeast added to the beer. That slight added bit of yeast. Right, let's move on to the Ignis Quadruple. 10% ABV. Now we'll use this nice kind of chalice glass from Grimbergen. Wow, look at this. Wow, 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 look at this beer. That looks absolutely incredible. Hazy, mahogany, slight orangey coloured beer, one to two finger. Slightly off white head. Oh, that looks fantastic. Let's get the aroma then on this beer. Love the little bit of haze on there. Oh wow. Wow. Toffee. Toffee and spices. Toffee and spices. You can almost smell the, the body on the beer. Smells amazing, gotta get into this. It smells terrific. Cheers everybody. Oh Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, that's a um, that's a real taste and sensation. Sweet but bitter, biscuity and bready, spicy, peppery, toffee flavours coming through. There's not a hint, there's not a hint of that 10% ABV. It's magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. This is a beer that it's the type of beer now I'm sitting here at the bar. It's a nice warm day. 
just sit here and relax. Just sit here and relax for the next 40 minutes of this beer. Just, just looking at it, smelling it, tasting it. Such a licorice in there. Oh, it's, it's fabulous. It's fabulous. Look at the lacing. Look at the lacing on the glass. Just look at that. Absolute quality, quality beer. So this Grimbergen Brewery, this Abbey Brewery, dates back to 1128. One of the oldest breweries probably known to man. Uh, they go right back. This, mind you, Astrum Pale Ale, beer number three, is dry hopped with Galaxy. So this is a really interesting take. It, it, it's, it's Australian hops that, that have gone into a Belgian Abbey beer. I'm really interested to try this one out. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. It's always important to get that little bit of yeast in from the bottom of the bottle. Give the bottle a swirl round with that last inch of beer, a really good swirl round and then dump it into the glass. Especially with Belgian beer, uh, some of the Belgian flavours that come from, the, from these beers will come from the yeast. They're, they're a yeast forward beer. Not necessarily this beer in my hand, it's been brewed with Galaxy. Um, we got a one to two finger white head, hazy, amber coloured beer, slow moving carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Looks fabulous again. Yeah, this one has got a, has definitely got a new world edge to it. Those juicy Australian galaxy hops in the beer. Giving off spices and peppery flavours, but at the same time, a, a, a juiciness, a juicy kind of lemon and a juicy orange peel and a grapefruit. But in context, in context, it's not like super duper dry hopped. It's got a nice aroma. But I don't think this beer is trying to be some kind of New England IPA, you know? Let's, let's dive into it. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's lovely. So all the aspects of a really good Belgian pale ale. Belgian blonde, Belgian pale ale. It's, it's slightly yeasty, peppery, spicy, fantastically drinkable. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. But then it has this slight new world edge to it. Kiwi fruit. Kiwi fruit and a touch of passion fruit in there. But really, really, really nice. Really drinkable. Really, really drinkable beer. So, let's have a look at the three. Uh, we've shown you the, the lovely Phoenix type bird thing, which I thought was. Oh, it is a bottle opener. Look, it's a bottle opener on the bottom. Look. Just, yes, you do that. I didn't see it. That is a fabulous bottle opener. For a moment, I thought it was just like part of the box, you know, part of a... But I was thinking, there's got to be some kind of bottle opener. It is, look, it's on the bottom. So I'll put it 
with my collection, I'll try and find a way of hanging it, hanging it up on my collection of bottle openers there behind me. Um, rating for the beers then, the Brute, fabulous tasting beer. Traditional, I'd say, kind of like Belgian blonde style beer. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. The Belgian quad, which this is this is my favourite. Lovely sweetness to it, but an, a, a yeasty, estery kind of taste in beer. No, no hint whatsoever of that 10% ABV coming from that Belgian quad. And then last but not least, this, this, this lovely kind of dry hot Galaxy Belgian Ale. Pale Ale. 9 out of 10 for the quad. 8 out of 10 for the beer number 3, the Belgian Pale Ale. So that's it, that's a look, that's a look at the Grimbergen Abbey box set that was really nicely, kindly sent to me from the Grimbergen Brewery. I'm going to probably switch the camera off now and just sit here in this conservatory drinking these beers, watching the afternoon go by. Um, but thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, cheers.